Hi guys and welcome to my small channel. My name is Bani Puni and this of course is the Citroen C5 A Cross. Now today's video will not be a review where I talk about the design, the interiors, the drive, the comfort, the features, the safety or the summary because that's too common in my opinion nowadays. In this video I'll be focusing on five important aspects that you should know and you need to know about Citroen's first offering for the Indian car market. So the first aspect is the heart of the matter over here. A lot is been spoken about the diesel motor, no petrol at launch. This is a 2000 cc turbo diesel engine putting out 177 ps of power and a healthy dose of torque, 400 Nm. It's paired to a 8 speed automatic gearbox and there are modes to pick from the eco mode, the normal and the sport so How good is the performance? Well, coming up on your mobiles or tablets or your laptop screens, are uh, the performance runs done in all the three modes right away. So the first run is uh, in the normal mode not in the eco not in the sport with the ac off here we go sport on 0 to 100 in the sport mode Instantly, there's more more punch coming in, and I'm assuming uh, the timings will be faster as well. And finally, in the eco mode, AC is off. There was a bit of wheel spin, slight dirt on the road. Hundred coming up in the eco mode. Apart from this, there is so much usable torque at hand that on twisties or hilly terrains, you don't have to try too hard. Likewise, off the road into average trails, the engine feels meaty and yet relaxed. Now the second aspect has got to do with the noise insulation on the inside. Citroen is really pushing this car in terms of how well cocooned the cabin is from the outside world. So I've done two simple tests to prove that uh, coming up on your screen right away. So for the sound insulation parameter, we'll be testing how loud the engine is on the outside, and then I'll be sitting at the rear seat. Uh, so let me reset this, and after reset, we will rev the car completely till the red line for five seconds. So the average was around 68, uh, 67, 68 uh, with the full revs. We'll now go inside the car and see how much it sounds at the back seat again with the full revs. So seated inside the car at the second row, all the windows up. We're gonna rev the engine in five, four, three, two, one, zero. So not bad. Forty-eight uh, versus sixty-eight. It's a good, good twenty decibel less. Also, uh, the AC is on. The engine is idling, and I want to show you. at the back during idling what is the sound level here we go 3 2 1 0 we'll be quiet now as you can see uh, it's a quite living room that comes in over here so at the back of the Citroen C5 air cos uh, it's more like uh, being in your bedroom where you can have a lovely quiet conversation with anyone So the second test is where we uh, want to show you how much insulation is there from the outside world. We have a tracking car Innova uh, in the backdrop. Uh, I will ask and request the driver to honk at least for five seconds to show you uh, what is the uh, what's the sound level over here. So 
So it went till 69 dB for the sound levels. Uh, we'll repeat the same thing with the windows up. So 50 versus 69, again a difference of 19 dB, which we saw even with the uh, engine uh, uh, sound levels on the outside, on the inside, uh, and the way it cuts off the world uh, with the windows down 69 dB, which is very loud, and with the windows up, it was uh, 19 or 20 dB less on the inside. So this is my expect on the uh, sound insulation and the noise noise insulation inside the Citroen C5 A Cross. So the sound meter test was impressive, and the same holds true from a driver's or passenger's point of view when you're driving the car in traffic or open roads. Everything from wind noise to road or tyre noise is really well controlled and Citroen's claim of a silent cabin does hold true in my opinion. Now the third aspect, you must have seen the hashtag comfort class drive and Citroen is promoting the amount of comfort this car provides on the inside and the vibe free nature, the vibration free nature. Is it true? Well, third point to be discussed right away. Now, a bottle vibration test is often a perfect way to uh, showcase how vibe-free the interiors are. Uh, you can see the level, it's not moving. Uh, we all are not trying to move inside the car. Uh, the car is currently off. So, we will start the car from the push button start right over here. I'm going to show you if there are any vibrations. Three, two, one. Look at this. It's a diesel, it started, the car is on and we'll now try to rev slightly. Going all the way to red line and we keep on revving from uh, idle to red, uh, the red line a couple of times. You can see it's not shaking. Now often people say when you shut off the car, it will vibrate. Uh, again, gonna show you uh, shut off the car in the next uh, three, two, one. Just a tiny bit of uh, movement. Now this is not fixed, which uh, people in my earlier Thar video when I was at 91 wheels were accusing me of. It's not fixed, you can see, and it is completely, uh, it's a full bottle. Yeah, uh, I will repeat this in front of you to showcase I am not fluking, it's not a joke. So bottle is resting, we'll again start the car from here, three, two, one. We'll drive the car slightly and we'll shut off the car. Shutting off the engine in three seconds, three, two, one. So. I think this is a perfect way to showcase how wide, free, smooth the interiors of the diesel SUV are. Uh, the second part of this uh, vibration and comfort test on the inside is this. I have filled up my glass with juice, it's nothing else, don't get some wrong ideas. And uh, we are on a road that's, uh, it's a sort of twisties and not so smooth tarmac at this part, but you can make out this is not bad. And even from a driver's perspective, when I want to enjoy my drink, have a look at my drink and not outside. Um, I do get nausea very easily, but not in this car. Uh, the body roll is well controlled. We went over a bump and it's not spilling till now. One breaker gone, one more on the way ahead. It's still not spilling. My jeans are perfectly okay. And coming up on your screen in five, four, three, two, one. Still okay. Now to make it even more challenging, we have gone off the road into a trail, which you can uh, make out in the front camera and uh, it's still not spilling. I am completely clear. And these things are what will be appreciated by people who want something in comfort. Now till now around the 20 lakh barrier, uh, the Innova was the benchmark in terms of your comfort for the rear passengers. But I think if you go higher up into the 25, 30 lakh bracket and you want comfort, you want noise insulation, you want a vibration free nature, you know which showroom to walk into. I think both the cameras are shaking more, but this glass is still holding up. Look at, look at this level. For these kind of roads, uh, the top level of the juice, it is still, still very much in place and I've not spilled 
anything. Uh, my industry friend and close uh, brother Shantul behind the wheel can go faster. Shantul, we can go faster. If you spill this, absolutely amazing. In fact, the faster we are going on this trail road, the more settled the higher upper part of the juice looks like, right? So yes, vibrations are extremely well controlled. The seat is super comfy and the suspension soaks up undulations to keep you away from the outside mess. The progressive hydraulic cushions inside the shock absorbers do seem to work brilliantly well it seems. Now size does matter in the Indian SUV market and this one delivers on that account. Yes, point number four or the fourth aspect over here is the design and the road presence of this car. The size first. The C5 A-Cross is wider and taller than its direct rivals. From the Hyundai Tucson to even the larger Volkswagen Tiguan Allspace. Adding to its size are these lovely 18-inch alloy wheels and an outlandish design language that speaks for itself. Yes, this might be too funky for some, but the C5 A-Cross does have solid road presence. Just look at the horizontal lines which also break up the lights or the silver inserts in the bumper and on the side of the front doors. This ain't your conventional looking SUV and the rear echoes the same thought. Lovely tail lamps and an aggressive bumper. Full marks from my side. And finally the fifth aspect over here is the amount of features including the safety features that you get for your money when you buy the Citroen C5 A-Cross. It's gonna be around 30 lakh rupees but will the 30 lakh rupees be worth it? Well let's find out. Do note, my test car was the field version while most clips that you see in the video are from the top end shine version. Now this one gets additional LED lights over the field variant. Now there are ample elements that will keep an owner happy. For instance, the short and finely crafted gear lever. Looks expensive and works like a charm. Next, the configurable screens to suit your mood and storage spaces that can swallow in everything you can imagine. You also get hand-free access to the boot. The same even works when you swing the leg to close the boot gate. Clever, very clever. And I am not done yet. The rear bench is so wide, you get three independent seats in here. And you also have an entire safety net of park assist, coffee brake alert, super useful blind spot monitoring system, fog lights with static cornering, grip control or traction modes, hill start assist and the list goes on. And that brings us to the end of the video and a summary of sorts from my end. As you have seen, all the five aspects around this one are totally justified. Performance is good, it's silent, it's comfortable, it looks wow and of course feature loaded including the very important safety parameters. Now at the time of this video going live for you guys, pricing is not out. Even the network in India is coming up. However, I think as of now, if you're in the market for a 25 to 30 lakh rupee SUV that runs on diesel and has ample road presence and can be your fashion statement, well, this one could definitely be your pick.